I see many of the airline personnel in the audience, and it's, it's really nice to see you here today. I know that that was a very personal, very moving, and very tragic day for you, and you lost many. I'm sorry about that. And I hope we do a small part to help restoring the dignity and honoring the folks that you knew. I'm, I'm touched by the situation. Having grown up in New York, having actually married a flight attendant myself who retired just a month or two before 9-11, before really brought it home very personally to me. Introducing our next uh, speaker, before I do that, I'd like to thank, uh, the, the airlines were great. Just getting the word out to you guys was so easy. Because once I made the first contact, your support, uh, your, the way you contact each other through emails and stuff was great. Uh, our next speaker is the president of the Flight Attendants Association Union here at LAX. And I'd like to introduce Darren Sharoma. Good afternoon, Hermosa Beach residents, South Bay friends, and fellow Americans. My name is Darren Sharoma, and I am the local president for the Association of Flight Attendants, CWA, representing the 1,600 flight attendants for United Airlines at LAX. I speak on behalf of the men and women of our nation's ind aviation industry, and also on behalf of APFA, the Association of Professional Flight Attendants, at American Airlines and our respective colleagues from the cockpit, the pilots of United and American Airlines who are here with us today. We're also represented by former and retired flight attendants who are also here with us in the audience, so thank you for joining us. We'd like to extend a special appreciation to Lieutenant Tom Thompson of Hermosa Beach Police Department and Chaplain Gila Katz as well as the families and the citizens in the city of Hermosa Beach for reaching out to us and including our fallen colleagues in today's memorial. Nine years ago, we lost 33 crew members, eight pilots and 25 flight attendants. And today we also honor the men and women who were aboard the following flights. American Airlines Flight 11 from Boston to Los Angeles lost at the North World Trade Center Tower. United Airlines Flight 175 from Boston to Los Angeles was lost at the South World Trade Center Tower. American Airlines Flight 77 from Washington Dulles Airport to Los Angeles was lost at the Pentagon. And United Airlines Flight 93 from Newark, New Jersey bound for San Francisco was lost in the fields of Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Our nation's flight attendants, our first responders in the sky, and the 25 flight attendants and eight pilots aboard the four flights are often forgotten casualties in the September 11th attacks. On behalf of the tens of thousands of flight attendants and pilots across our country, we thank you for inviting our proud professions to be a part of this memorial dedication in the heart of your community. Many aviation workers live here we are your neighbors, we're your friends, we're your family, and we continue to protect, defend, and ensure safe travel each time you and your family members step aboard our aircraft. In the post 9-11 world, flight attendants have been confronted with numerous security threats and our jobs have taken on a different meaning. We ask that you remember the next time that you step aboard an aircraft and that you recognize who we are Flight attendants are recertified each year on defibrillator, first aid, CPR, emergency, security and evacuation procedures. And these proficiencies and regulatory standards all support our roles as first responders in the sky. In the last nine years, pilots also continue to perform impeccably to in-flight emergencies and have taken on additional safety and defense training in support of defending the aircraft controls. Flight attendants have also taken on training to protect the integrity of the cockpit and flight attendants place themselves between the passenger cabin and the cockpit door on each and every flight. Throughout the ni past nine years, 
The challenges, trials, and transitions that we've faced within our industry have not been easy on the employees in U.S. aviation. The cabin crews out there on the line have endured much. Nevertheless, they continue to stand strong, protect their fellow crew members, their passengers, and their aircraft. In the nine years since 9-11, flight attendants continue to report to work, taking their fellow Americans and the traveling public safely in their journeys across the world. And behind any uncertainty, behind the warmest of smiles, and bring calm serenity in their confident and onboard, confident onboard presence. Nine years ago, just a stone's throw from here, two flights were scheduled to, the la to land at the Los Angeles International Airport, but they never made it. They never had a chance from the moment that they took off. United Airlines Flight 175 and American Airlines Flight 11, both departing from Boston, carried everyday citizens and crew members just like us. They were denied the start of their journeys and they were not given the chance to conclude their travels. Each day, what we do in our daily lives is an extension of what they are no longer able to experience. And we must strive to live each day to the fullest and always remember the sacrifice that they paid. Each day we have the opportunity to leave an impression of positivity in the world that we live in. And I encourage each of you to seize each moment to honor those who lost their lives on 9-11. Nine years ago, we remember where we were today, the moment that we witnessed the first commercial hijacking in history to occur on U.S. soil. And going forward, we must fill our lives with firsts, constructive and positive firsts, to build a solid foundation of cherished memories, never-ending strength and everlasting resolve. Today, we ask you to take our message to your family, friends, and colleagues. And we ask you to remind them of the lo losses that we suffered where, when our line of duty coworkers were taken. And we ask you to recognize those who forge ahead today in our professions. Along with all flight crew members in aviation history lost in the line of duty, we continue to step aboard our aircraft as a standing tribute and in their memory. We hold them in our hearts and we look to their protection as we go about doing what we do best. We will never let their loss from our ranks be in vain and we're committed to sustaining the pride in the careers that they loved. We are thankful for the opportunity to have served and worked alongside them in our roles as safety and security professionals and we promise to sustain vigilance over our respective professions. Through each and every one of us, they shall continue to live on. May God bless us, one and all, and thank you again for allowing us to share our story with you.